Today is the third uh, Fashion Week in Milan and in the morning we have visited three shows Etro, Moschino and Sportmax. With the Moschino show, it's always irreverent, it's always fun, and this time the designer took us to Scotland by way of um, horseback riding, both dressage to I think a little bit of western in there with some of the, the fringed uh, flower pieces. So it's always a bit of fun and it's always great to watch. And, it, and you know, there are actual practical pieces that you see people like Michelle Obama wearing. So it can be a little bit kooky, but you know that behind all there's some great commercial pieces to be worn. I'm very like thrilled to see because uh, it took a very new direction sport wise since the last two seasons and the last show it was very futuristic and it's very graphic and modern and smooth which was kind of new for them so I wanted to know how they're gonna develop this new direction today. How can you describe this new direction? How can I describe it? I, I mean it's very, it's, from one point it's going back to the roots because in a way it was kind of 60s graphic but then in the other way it feels very modernist because of the cut, everything is very geometric, very plain and very clean in the lines but then it's very modern about the textures, also the laser cut and all the new techniques that they can use and which makes it very interesting for me. very chic but at the same time effortless and um, we play with uh, texture. Texture is the light motif of the collection. Textures are very important because we work with a different texture, very um, special and uh, we, we, we work also in a very um, personal way. So for example for the coats, the coats are very important for us this season. We propose the, the same kind of coats, very pure, very clean, but with around the shoulder because we think that the, the coat is kind of, we call it cocoon because it's something that uh, you can stay inside in a very warm way. And uh, um, we work with uh, bonded fabrics, we, we bonded bonded cashmere, bonded uh, suede, bonded uh, shirling for this reason, for to have this kind of coat. At the same time we work with very fluid wool or, um, for trousers because we, work, we, we look for uh, slouchy trousers because we like uh, a kind of relaxed silhouette about the trousers and uh, we work also in a feminine way about dress and the skirt and we play with uh, um, transparency and uh, with uh, pleats and you can see legs so you can see a kind of movement and femininity. The new Sportmax collection is all about the mix of different textures and personally I would love to wear all those beautiful pieces. The starting point was uh, tradition, culture and heritage 
uh, like a memory of the past. But at the end, imagined this woman how she would have been customizing and sort of uh, personalizing the prints herself according to the digital era we're living in the 21st century. So there's a lot of distortion, layering, sort of paneling going on. But you can still feel in the background, I think, the texture, the the, the, the history behind it. But at the end, the surface is very modern, clean, a lot of solid. And also the prints hadn't to be centered, but symmetric. And for me, it was important that the prints were giving movement rather than the dresses. That's why also in the background, you would see a video of like animated prints rather than a static thing. And um, then there was sportswear coming into the collection, which was actually the first time because, I don't know, I was completely into motorcycle pants, gloves, stitching, padding, sweater and for me this was giving to the whole an idea of urban, metropolitan, very strong, tough but at the same time there was a tribal side, an organic side.